right guys, so we back with another video. We're making a chicken teriyaki sandwich. I'm using frozen chicken tenders. So I've got those in the air fryer. They're cooking for about 15 minutes. Next, I'm just cutting up some vegetables, as you can see, cutting up some cucumbers, thinly slicing them. Then next, I'm gonna go in with some of these Roma tomatoes or cherry tomatoes, whatever they're called. Get these up and cut very, very nicely, guys, because we're making a gourmet sandwich. I'm gonna tell you, this is gonna be better than any sandwich you can buy. Then of course we're gonna add our lettuce. And at this point, feel free to use whatever vegetables you want to go on this chicken teriyaki sandwich. But this is just mine, guys. All right, next I have an Italian loaf. We're gonna cut this baby in half. I wanna say this is, man, this is a big loaf. This is over a foot long. And then we're gonna cut it in half. This is about eight inches that I'm working with on this instance, guys. Get this thing cut in half, just like you see right here. Guys, we're gonna make something wonderful, I'm telling you. The best chicken tender sandwich you can have or make. All right, guys. So the greatest thing you can do to get a good sear or toast when it comes to toasting your bread is mayo and butter. I will repeat, mayo and butter. Butter your bread, then use the same consistency of mayo right on top. Or put mayo first and then put butter right on top. And then you're gonna to toast this in a pan for a few minutes until it comes to that golden brown consistency. So as you guys can see, I went in with mayo and then I'm gonna follow that up with a little bit of butter on both sides, not both sides of the bread, but on, on the bread, guys. And if you guys knew this, drop a comment below. And if you didn't know it, let me know now. Let me know if you try this. I'm telling you, this is gonna create a good, good crust and a good sear. So this is gonna go just for a few minutes. And guys, just look at this flip. I'm telling you right now, it makes this bread super, super soft as well. For some strange reason, it comes out very soft with a nice crust on it. All right, so after about 15 minutes in my air fryer, I got some fries as well that you guys see, but we're just gonna be using these chicken tenders and we're just gonna cut them up just like this. So I'm gonna give you guys a tip. The best chicken tenders I've ever had are gonna be from Walmart. It's the famous chicken tenders. They're really, really good. To me, they're better than Tyson. If you guys tried them, drop a comment below. All right, guys, so next I got this sweet onion teriyaki sauce, Subway sauce. We're gonna mix this in, and then I got some submarine Italian dressing, and then we're just gonna mix this in here with the chicken tenders. I'm telling you guys, this is gonna be a 10 out of 10. Then I went in with a little bit more of the sweet teriyaki sauce because I like that sweet flavor. And guys, I got this inspiration because I love public subs and then I like that sweet teriyaki sauce from Subway. So on my arms, I'm going in with a little bit of this mustard and then I'm gonna hit it again with some of that sweet teriyaki sauce. And then guys, I'm just gonna plate this beautiful chicken tenders. And guys, also feel free to fry your chicken tenders and use that I didn't feel like frying any chicken tenders and I had frozen chicken tenders in the, fr in, the, in the freezer. So this is just what I chose to use at this particular point. And on the other side of this bread, guys, I'm just going in with this lettuce. I'm using romaine lettuce and then I'm going to top it off with some of these cucumbers and of course some of these cherry tomatoes. We're creating a delicacy here, guys, I'm telling you. When you want a good sandwich, you can just make it at the house. There's so many ways to level up and this is just one. And I actually have some zesty sweet pickles. Not dill pickles, guys. These are the zesty sweet pickles. I love me some pickles. And then of course I'm gonna hit it with some cheese. Feel free to use whatever type of cheese you want. And this is another one that I made. So guys, I ran out of that um, that uh, chicken that I had, so I had some grilled chicken left. So I went ahead and added this on the next sub. So I just got some grilled chicken tenderloins and I just put this on my other sub. As you guys can see right here, this is a delicacy, I'm telling you. It was a 10 out of 10 and you know I'll cook it again. But guys, have you ever made a sub at the house or have you always just went out and bought one from the store, whether from Subway, Burger King, McDonald's, or any of your fast food places. What I'm telling you guys, what I'm gonna tell you is that there again, there again, there are so many ways to level up, this is just one. And of course I got the juice from those grilled chicken tenders I made. 
Then I hit it up with a little bit of this restaurant style black pepper. This is a delicacy, you guys. And then I topped it with some of that feta cheese. I'm telling you, when I'm in the kitchen, I'm working. Look at that. Just look at that. So you guys know what to do. If you like this type of content, please remember, guys, to like, share, subscribe. And as always, we turn common food into world class. Let's level up and please look forward to my next video. Thanks for watching.